Adams Family Musical Feature Group style. The songs after part. Oh, I think that went great, much smoother than the play itself. Yeah, yeah. So, we were thinking of for starting this recording, what to talk about. Uh, persuasive Wednesday, whoever you want to be called. Are you ready? Tell uh, our friends how you and uh, Coy, or should I say Lucas, really met. <sighs> it was way early in the Interceptor Chronicles. We did meet at some uh, Nottingham school, I think it was. Either junior high or high school, it's hard to remember. How old we were during that part of the storyline. And I know you figured out our ages. Or decimation of ages. But pinpointing the exact location of how, when, that would be difficult. That, you know, great imagination here was the fact that uh, my parents were never included in the air except the Chronicles. We had to come up with names at the spur of the moment there. I hope April didn't mind. But somehow they are going to be written into new adventures if I ever get back to the Chronicles. I think I'll do the old, the accident left them in a coma. And they were just kind of forgotten and woke up or something like that. Anything else? How about a note from the loco? Jerry, loco, what's on your mind? You know, that. Happy said, almost suits theory as dumb as. I mean, think about it. Today requested, tomorrow fired. Doesn't that sound like a, all of our future gr groups? I mean, we were really having fun, and then all of a sudden, April died. We were on the job. If it weren't for Jay keeping up the imagination of the future group going on. Yeah, thank you, Loco. You're so nice. Hey, did you notice my shirt? Thank the people at J and J for custom making this. Restoring Loco to his former glory with the Red thing here that he's missing, and his legs are so faded. I wish I could restore you this good. And no, I am not a Transformer. I am a Gobot. Made by Tonka. Transformers came onto a scene, and everyone forgot about it. They wanted to see. Optimus Prime battled Megatron instead of Leader One battle in Psycho. That's why I really why I contacted Megatron to attack Gobatron way back when and start the whole um, thing led to future music being the norm in this house. Yep. One of the days the Alan X story might be weirdly and crudely performed, but I like to try to do it with them. I mean, it wasn't really put into uh, play fashion, but I do have the history of LNH written down. I have the history of all the feature groups 
I was working on April's when I thought I'd had to straighten up the room and I can't get back to her first as much as I would like to. But I will eventually. Don't worry. Uh, coming up in November is going to be the Zancier area and Dark Magicians. In December is going to be Wild Stallions. I haven't looked at their material, but I know April had several CDs. Well, eight CDs. Maybe a few CDs of their stuff. I think it all is present and accounted for. And somehow before the end of the year, there is going to be a feature group during the view. And then we get ready for January. And I'll update you as I look at the list further. But hopefully next year I'll be able to completely go through all the remaining future groups. And maybe by July or August, maybe mark your calendar for the triumph return of LNH to the stage. As I piece together his missing album in the collection. Or at least most of I think there are still a few I might skip, but please stay tuned for that. I can't wait. I learned a lot since I started doing these future concert series. How to do it right. Uh, three or four songs from each album works out perfect. It tells the group's story, what all they went through. Uh, I try to make sure that their biggest on the future charts get on there, as well as my personal favorites and everything. They are just so much fun for me. So, until next time, goodbye.